Right, calculating p-values using the TI Ignis Bar CX calculator. Say you've got this situation. Say you calculate a value of t is equal to 2.105 with 4 degrees of freedom and you want to calculate the p-value. First of all, you must need what, what type of test you're doing. So if we are going to perform a one-tailed test looking at the upper tail, so an increase at, fi at the 5% level, then what you're going to need to do is be able to calculate the probability that t is bigger than 2.105 with 4 degrees of freedom. So to do that, you go to your GDC and select the calculating mode and then go to menu, probability, distributions and TCDF and you put the lower bound in this case to be 2.105 105 and the upper bound to be infinity so 9 control e to the 999 and the degrees of freedom were 4 in this case and you press ok and you get a value of 0 0.0515 okay so we write down the probability now this probability is actually the p-value so as the p-value 0 0.0515 is actually bigger than 0 0.05, which is 5%. We do not reject H0. Now say that we have this situation. Say now that T is equal to, when we calculated 2.998 with 7 degrees of freedom, and we want to do a two-tailed test at the 5% level, then this time we have to calculate the value of, of t being the end. So t being less than minus the value calculated, minus 2.998, or t bigger than 2.998. That is best done with the calculator by doing 1 minus the probability that actually t is in between the two, minus 2.98 and 2.998. So again, going to our calculator, and I'll just do this on a different page. So go to the calculator and then do menu. Number 5, Probability, Distributions, TCDF, oh, just wait one second, 1 minus, don't forget that first, yeah, we can always go back and put it in if you haven't, Probability, Distributions, TCDF, and then we put the lower bound at minus 2.998, and the upper bound at 2.998, and the degrees of freedom this time was 7, we press OK and we get that value there, 0 0.01999863. That will be the p-value for that particular test. OK, so rounding it off, it will be 0 0.02. We had a test at 5%, and therefore, as the p-value 0 0.02 is less than 0 0.05, we reject H0. And the final case will be like this. Say we now have t equal to minus 3.073 with 9 degrees of freedom and we've got a one-tailed test at the 1% level, so we'll just change the percentage of the test. Then what we need to calculate here is the probability that t is less than minus 3.073 for 9 degrees of freedom. So again, going to my calculator, I'm going to new page, and then doing menu, Number 5, probability. Number 5, distributions, TCDF. Lower bound will be minus infinity. The upper bound will be minus 3.073. And this will be 9 degrees of freedom, which gives me a value of 0 0.00664471. There's a screenshot. So this is the p-value for that particular test. And that's the p-value, 0.00664, is less than 0.01, 1%. Okay, if it's 10%, it would be 0 0.1. We reject H0. Because what we're actually saying here, this is so small, it's actually in the end tail. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to calculate p values given a value of t. The same process also works if you calculate the value of z. We're doing a z test, obviously there will be no degrees of freedom.